My 2003 Saab 93 has had its same exhaust setup for about four years now, and well, thanks to MapTune, I think, I think it's time for a change and an upgrade. My 93 has had a full three inch exhaust on it for, well, most of my ownership, completely custom made, and it's been pretty good, but it's time to change that out, upgrade it, make it a bit better. So what we have here, courtesy of MapTune, is a full three inch downpipe with a high flow cat on it. In this box here, we have their catback system. This is a wide variety of mufflers and resonators that importantly ends in a dual exhaust setup. And to round it out in the rear, we're going to be installing the uh, finishing touches, these MapTune carbon exhaust tips that are quite large. Might need to censor this out for the video, but uh, they passed the fist test. Three and a half inches, and then the carbon part is four inches in diameter. Once we have that new dual exhaust installed, we will also be putting on our aero rear diffuser, getting some sound clips and comparing it to how it sounds with this current setup. Lifting this cover up here, there is just a glimpse into some of the work we'll be doing on this car for the next three months. As with any good exhaust video, I'll start off with some clips of how the car currently sounds. sound bad it has a high flow cat on it a resonator and a muffler so it's not raspy it's kind of a refined sound but i think this map tune system is going to sound even better with the dual exit so i wanted to thank map tune for sponsoring this video if you guys are interested in any sort of aftermarket parts for your sobs whether it be exhaust tunes suspension anything i mean you can see they have quite a wide variety of parts both oem and aftermarket so i'll link them at the top of the description feel free to check them out. And even though they're based in Sweden, I got all this stuff in about a week. So they ship pretty fast too. I have this exhaust heat shield off already because I've been soaking these downpipe bolts and the O2 sensor bungs in WD-40 and PV Blaster for the last couple of days, hoping they'll be easier to remove. Um, but this heat shield is super easy to pop off. It's this piece right here. There are two 10 millimeters on the top. And if you reach down behind, and pull it up, you can unhook this little clip and then it just comes right out. I am going to pop the coolant tank out of the way a bit. Getting underneath the car, this is right at the elbow where the exhaust starts to bend and go back. There's our secondary O2 sensor. That one, I couldn't quite get the socket on it, so I'm just using the uh, adjustable wrench. There are three bolts that hold the downpipe to the turbo. Uh, you're looking at one in the middle of the screen right now. That one right there is extremely difficult to access. The other two are very easy to get from up top. So I'm starting with this one first. And because it's so far up there, I essentially had to use a 13 mil wrench with some tape on it to hold it on there and then break it loose that way. But now that we have it broken loose, I'm gonna stick the ratcheting wrench up there and hopefully get it off the rest of the way. One of the downsides of going to an exhaust shop and having your exhaust made, and something I didn't realize at the time is that Unless you tell them to, they're probably not going to add V-band clamps or any sort of clamps uh, to the exhaust system. So that essentially means from the turbo all the way to the exhaust tips back there, my exhaust is literally one single welded piece. There we go. There we go. I'm going to use my jack to 
support the weight of the rear end of this exhaust. This one thankfully is like those other ones. This little clip, which makes it like so much easier to remove. There we go. Oh boy. This is a problem I feared. The car's not up high enough to uh, get the exhaust out. So I'm gonna take the muffler in the rear off the jack and see if I can twist it out. It is off. Uh, so here you can see the uh, high flow cap that was on there before. This is, I think, technically called a glass pack. It's similar to a resonator, although it doesn't quite do as much as a resonator. And then here's our MagnaFlow muffler that was sitting in the rear. So I'm going to get this thing moved to the side and then we'll get our complete new exhaust up and kind of use this as a template to get a rough estimate of how exactly we need to fit our new one. But before we do that, I think we need to get this old lip off and install our aero lip with the dual exit. If you're doing this job like me and are doing the complete exhaust, including the downpipe, then you will have an extra piece of metal left over this one. This came with the cap back, which is this portion of the exhaust, and it is used if you are connecting to the OEM downpipe and catalytic converter portion of the exhaust. If you get the downpipe, it'll come with this little additional pipe, which allows you to connect it to the downpipe, and then this just slides into this resonator with a clamp. Getting it hooked over the studs on the turbo. Now I'm going to go back up top, actually get it seated onto the turbo and just get the nuts started. I'm not going to actually tighten it down at all. Just get it started so that way it's holding a little bit of the weight of the downpipe. And so I can come down here and get these hangers hooked on. This probably isn't the way Wiss says to do it, but it's what's working for me. Um, this has been a struggle trying to get this lined up. I thought it would be pretty easy, um, but I have gotten it started on all three. Once I got it hooked kind of over the studs on all three, which was the hardest part, I'm just lightly tapping it with the hammer. Just again, very lightly making sure it's going on evenly, kind of hitting it at all sides. And uh, you can see our stud is just starting to come through the other side. So I'm gonna keep lightly doing that uh, until I'm able to start the, uh, the nuts. That's not going anywhere. Both the hangers are connected. So let's uh, start working our way back. So we are not tightening anything down for now. We're just kind of loosely installing every piece so that way we have some play and some wiggle room where needed. One cool little detail I'm now seeing for the first time because it's on the underside of the downpipe, but look at that. Map tune performance right there. Work smart, not hard. I spy one exhaust hanger right there. This right here is the uh, ASMR kind of content that y'all are probably subscribed for. This exhaust hanger from MapTune is what we'll use to install this other muffler uh, since my car did not come with a dual exhaust from factory. This hooks into the frame right here and then this back part uh, kind of goes through this hole and then stabilizes back onto this. 
So it comes in those two pieces. Um, Maptune did say you might need to modify it a bit, especially this little hook. And I can see why I guess certain years 9.3s came with different sized holes here. Mine seems too small to make this fit. So I'm gonna pull out the file because you can see where it's hitting and uh, try to sand this down a bit, make it fit a little better. So uh, even with that filing and bending that tab a little bit, it did eventually go in. So kind of an odd setup here. But I'm gonna line up the bolt hole for that other piece and line this up and get this uh, threaded in. And for a third and final time, All right, it's really starting to come together. Everything is in place all the way up to the front. Nothing is tightened down yet, so that's what I'll be spending the next, I don't know how long doing, is tightening everything down, starting from the front with the downpipe and working all, my, all the way back. But honestly, at first glance, it all lines up pretty good, so I'm thinking there won't be much adjustment I need to do. And once we're done, we'll put the tips on. This third downpipe bolt is, uh, oh, that is not fun. Using a uh, stubby 13, that's the only thing I can use to uh, get in there and tighten that. Just ever so slightly. We're doing it incrementally, so I'm doing about halfway tight on the other two. And came down here, did it halfway tight. I went most of the way tight on the other two. And now doing the same thing on this one. The thing about doing these jobs for the first time is you have these learning moments and I just had a uh, pretty unfortunate one. Everything is 100% tight, ready to go. I was just about to film the Celebrate, but I have to put this torque arm back on, which only come on the early 9.3s. Mine is an 03, so it has it. And I took this off to give myself more room earlier. However, to put it back on, this bolt, because of where the downpipe is at, I cannot get this bolt in, which means I need to pull the downpipe back off to remove it. Now, I will be removing the downpipe probably again within the next month or so when I do the water pump and some other work on this car. So I think for the short term, especially since newer 9.3s don't have this mount, um, I'm just gonna send it because I'm not removing this thing again because it was a, a lot of work to get it into place and to get it on. So this is a three and a half inch tip and the surrounding carbon piece is four inches. So you can buy just these tips. The exhaust does come with normal, um, you know, metal tips. Um, but these carbon ones are definitely an upgrade that I think is worthwhile, especially if you really want to help your car stand out. So these go on pretty simply. They just slide over our muffler. We might need to adjust this little bracket right here side to side because this one looks like it's just a hair off center, but we'll determine that uh, once we get these installed. Tips are lined up the best I can do. This is also the furthest in I can get them. Um, I like that they stick out a little bit. However, they might stick out just a bit too much for my liking to be 100% honest. They do draw attention to the Maptune logo and the carbon, so you definitely want to be able to see that. Um, however, I think they, I'd like it if they sat in a little bit more. I tried to adjust as I could. Um, might be able to fine tune it a little bit more in the future, but for now, I think that's pretty, pretty solid. These tips look awesome, make the rear end look way more aggressive. Oh, right away I can tell you I already have an exhaust leak in the one spot I was worried about. It's pretty loud. This connection right here, I can feel air escaping. So I'm gonna need to reclamp that one down. I think besides that, I'm gonna quickly feel around before everything gets hot. I have heard that on the first few cold starts, the car is a bit quieter and it gets louder over time. I've got the exhaust leak sorted. I did have to double clamp one of the connections. They do give you a couple extra clamps, which is nice, but this idle is just so quiet, but you can still hear something. So obviously outside of the 
massive exhaust tips. You can tell it has an aftermarket exhaust, but it's not uh, drony or, or loud to where you can't hear yourself think. Um, so I think it's about time we take this thing out and let's see how she sounds. All right, all right. Well, this exhaust sounds exactly as good as I hoped it would and more. It has, you know, kind of an OEM plus sound to it. It's not raspy like I mentioned, it's not loud. The idle is nice and quiet. This is the warm idle you're hearing right now. It might not even be coming up on camera until I get close. So I will say my one complaint about the system is kind of how far the exhaust tips stick out. So this is about as close to the bumper as you can get them. And from certain angles like this angle, it looks kind of goofy, but when you kind of frame the whole rear end like this, it looks a lot better. Big thank you once again to Maptune if you all are interested in any sort of aftermarket parts for your Saab. They also sell some OEM stuff as well. 100% check them out. I've been using their products for years and they are top notch. Once you're out cruising on the street or on the highway, this thing is dead silent, but when you get on it, you can hear it. There's a decent a bit more turbo noise as well. I think that's maybe just because the exhaust is quieter allows me to hear the turbo more. One last thing I'll touch on in this video is why you should consider upgrading your exhaust. Now the main point of getting a high flow catalytic converter or deleting it is to help reduce back pressure and help the turbo and the engine to just flow more smoothly with less restriction. So that's kind of the entire point of an aftermarket exhaust. In addition to more sound, you get a less restrictive flow, which enables the car to make more power. Now, in order to maximize that power, you'll want to pair it with a tune. I have a video of the tune I have on this car. It's a stage three plus. I'll link it up in the top corner, but that puts me at about 270 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque, which is a great power number. As you saw, this thing has no problem spinning the tires. Thank you all so much for watching. Check out my merch if you want to help support the channel more. And I'll see you all in the next one. We got so much more work to Take do on this thing. Easy.